It is a brand spanking new fifth wheel toy hauler floor plan with an L? What am I talking about? Come here, let me show you. Toodles! Oh, hey, Ryan. Uh oh, hey there. So I had mentioned brand spanking new floor plan, luxury fifth wheel toy hauler with an L. This is exactly what I was talking about. And speaking of L, I got my buddy Joe Mel from Alliance here with me. Hey, everybody. Joe, you put a L-shaped oversized, sh this is a lounge. This is a lounge. This, this is, is lounge. a lounge inside Actually, of a fifth wheel toy We can stop recording. We're going to take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is comfortable enough. I might take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so this is the brand spanking new Alliance Valor 44 V14. 45 feet, I believe we're 45 feet, six inches. 45 feet, eight. Yeah, yep. yeah, 45 feet, eight inches, and you're looking at 16,500 pounds dry, but this has some brand new unique features that I think is gonna shock the market, Spe especially the L. So you don't have this inside a fifth wheel toy haulers. You usually have one big old couch that's kinda awkward for a few people to sit on. This is form and function. Tell me a little bit about it, Joe. So on this side over here, we got two recliners. Mm -hmm. So if I want to, I'm gonna pop up here. And you know, I'm gonna take a seat right here. Yeah. And then I'm gonna wanna get comfortable, get the remote in my hands, pop it out. This one also reclines. Nice. Goes back. So now I can rest here. You can have someone here, you have someone there. Yep. And you got three seats over there. So you're talking five to six people comfortably on this yeah. thing. I like this because this space over here does have the pull full out sleeper on it. Yep. So you can easily get two adults. And then if you wanted to, if the kids are camping out, bigger kids here, another kid here, just maybe, you know, Yep. Let them cur curl up under the cushions yep. or the family dog. Great space because to me, when uh, I've knocked out many times in the recliner, especially when I've had a fireplace, and that's probably the biggest fireplace that's I've seen. That's a big old fireplace. Inside of an RV. Yep. Changes colors. Yeah, multi really flame, nice. multi light. Yep. You're probably, what, 5,000 BTUs on that yep, one? Right around there. Yep. Man. And then you open up these windows and tell me about these windows because I noticed yep. I got the wood balances. But I have frame boxes on these. So that's actually boxes. epoxy poured frames. Okay. And we have a countertop shop here at Alliance where we epoxy pour our own balances or countertops. Uh, a lot of our bathrooms has a have epoxy poured countertops. Wow. Uh, just to make it more resistant, especially to water. Yes. And then we yeah, do yeah. these, day these uh, night shades, blackout shades. Yeah, uh, to I, keep, I love that. Know, keep that sun out, especially during hot days. And or to just give you maximized privacy. That So this to me, I think is an important feature because it does help with that water permeation, yep. uh, which is a big pain point for a lot of fifth wheel owners. Yeah. Um, so having that, I think big, big, huge check mark. But more importantly, it looks clean. A hundred percent. And also, I mean, what's behind those blackout shades? If you pop those open a little bit, mm -hmm. check how big those windows are. I mean, oh, these, that goes like all the way up. These okay. are these are what we call atrium windows. Okay. And so with this whole thing will actually slide open, mm -hmm. maximizing airflow in here. Yep. Because sometimes on those crisp, cool fall nights, you're gonna have just both windows open. Yeah. Light. You're gonna have maximized airflow, and it's just gonna make your camping experience better. I love how the lines are so clean with my balances. You got one balance going all the way here. I got shelves that lie in the same way with yeah. the frosted glass inlay and the strut support. That's extremely nice. Yep. Th this color scheme, it's kind of like a, uh, it kind of strikes me as like a bluish type gray. Yeah. It's, it's very clean. Yes. Um, it, it's gorgeous. Is, do y'all have like a name for it's it? It's called Urban Slate. Urban Slate. Yeah. That's my nickname in college. <laughs> Recessed LED lights on top yeah. of that. Uh, I mean, just over, it, obviously we are in the full profile fifth wheel, so you're gonna have the good heights. Yep. Great finishing touches crown with molding. the crown molding and the LED, LED light, light up top. Yep. That and is outstanding. Finishing out the slide out, look at how you don't have yes. what we call that toe stubber. Yes. Zero, it's it's flush floors right here, right? And you're I, gonna find flush floors throughout Alliance's product. Nice, I can't tell you how important that is. Yeah. To, to see this, Ryan, I don't know if you, you can even like pick it up. My, my, my foot is not even leaving the slide. That yep. is outstanding. Yep. Now over here uh, is our entertainment center. Yeah, it's a 50 inch TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you got this great JBL sound system, connect your Bluetooth and yep. you can, it's also multi-zone. Mm -hmm. So you can play just the garage, just here, just outside, wherever right. you want, right? 
Uh, and then we give you this great right around 5,000 BTU fireplace. Wow, I love that. And tons of storage up top. Tons of storage. And I, the, the smoked glass that inlay that you put in there is nice. Right. And I noticed and that all of your doors are soft close. With the magnetic latch. And instead of bull nose, you got magnetics. Yep. That's that's an outstanding, outstanding touch. Yep. Um, now we come over here to the campsite. This is awesome. Yeah. I mean, everyone needs a coffee nook, right? Yeah. Morning cup of joe. Yeah. Perfect spot for it. I got my max vent fan controls as well as my air cell controls. Yep. And look at the storage, storage that I got up there. But this is a great little solid surface coffee nook. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but right up top, we got the Coleman Mott Whisper Quiet AC going. Yep. And I got to give it credit. Kudos to how you set up the ACs. Yes. We got trip ACs on these 15Ks. Trip ACs. Yep. Um, running off a of 50 amp. They're high efficiency, but more important, they're not ducted. They're not ducted. And that's different for the industry, right? Yes, it is. So a lot of manufacturers are going to duct to try to just spread the air out. Mm -hmm. But think about it. You have you have an attic mm -hmm. that's not cooled, not temperature controlled. It's right. going to get beat up by the elements. Yep. You're going to lose efficiency inside the attic. Yep. Why not dump 100% into the unit maximizing efficiency? Right. You're going to have a cooler unit. It's going to get cooler faster. Yep and you're gonna have better performance on the AC itself. Yeah, and I'm not gonna have a duct up top that might get crushed uh, or yeah, or, or worse, or yeah, 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 it gets hot, yeah, it gets, gets popped. Yeah. So um, the other thing that I found extremely unique, especially with this 44 V14, uh, and I gotta tell you, there are tons of features in this. If, if you're looking at this and you're saying, okay, this is pretty cool, uh, what about this, what about that? You got questions, comments, likes, dislikes, leave them down below, because the thing I love about what Alliance did, they hit the market in 2019. First RV rolled off the line in 2020. Yep. We're now 2024. Yep, over 10,000 units built. Uh, and they are, have a huge presence in the marketplace already. Yep. So they did a tremendous job building, but they did it because you guys listen to feedback. Yeah, and that's so important. I mean, if you guys comment below right now, or if you have questions or later in the video, you have mm -hmm. questions, we have people that are gonna watch this video and monitor the questions too. So nice. not only are we gonna have our awesome dealer partner camping world monitoring, we're gonna be listening to. And I love that. And please click like, subscribe, and notify too, because you never know, you might get home from work one day and your dream RV from Alliance is sitting in your inbox. Uh, dream, as my friend Trish Sure would say, this is a dream sequence over here. Yep. I am not used to seeing a dinette in a toy hauler. Four person dinette, right? And no knee knocker. There's no knee knocker, yeah. So pull this one out and give you a little better angle there. Look at that. But you're not gonna hit your knee when you're sitting there. There's no legs there. It's, it's all, it's it's a, it's a mount to, it's mounted to the wall over there and it's pretty sturdy too if you give it a nice little shake. And there's a window that rivals the size of my forehead on here. I like to say I got a <laughs> seven, eight, nine hit. That thing is huge. Yeah, so our atrium windows are massive, like I said, over by the, the, yeah. the L-shaped couch. Mm -hmm. Atrium windows over here too, maximize light coming in the unit. Really? And they fully open. Yeah. So you pull that little red lever, it fully opens. Yep. Now you have tons of airflow coming into this unit. And a really good shot there of that poured, uh, I call the it epoxy. acrylic, yeah, the yeah, epoxy. epoxy poured right there. Trim. Yep. All right, so toy haulers, garage is always a big thing. Before we get to the rest of this coach, the kitchen, the whole night, I wanted you to see the big L because it's definitely not a big L, this is a big dub, when you're talking about what is happening inside of toy haulers today. This area is luxury fifth wheel living. This is a luxury midship living fifth wheel. We just happen to have a full-size garage. Come here, you gotta see this. Yep. Now, we got the rubberized floor, and you guys did something special underneath the floor, too. Yeah, so underneath our rubber coin floor here <laughs> is actually a composite material. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna rot mold or mildew. Because right. you have no wood underneath it. Right. Yeah. You guys also did something with the construction that I love. I'm a big fan of Asdell. I talk about the Asdell siding. They put it on both sides of your wall. So not only do you have that foam insulation, that super structure aluminum build, yep. which is a extremely strong cage. Yep. It's like that is an awesomely well-built RV. Then yes. you get the foam insulation, the Asdell on both sides, yep. extra installation, extra protection from moisture and off-gassing. Yep. 100%. It's huge. It's huge. It's almost unheard of in this industry. The other thing that I think is huge, right here in this garage, Ra Bra. What do you see right here? What is that? What is that? No, that is not Pac-Man indentations. <laughs> that is a multi-track system that gives you over 100 points of connections. Correct. That is frame welded to this coach. Correct. A lot of times, let me tell you how important that is. <clears throat> You'll get D-rings in certain spots. You come up that dovetail, sure, rubberized floor, absolutely awesome. 
gorgeous layout. You're crushing it, you're killing it. If you're bringing in golf cart, you're bringing it as 14 foot, so you can bring in a side by side. You may only have a tie down point that ends right here, mm -hmm. which means you lose all the storage space right there. If that's two feet, if you got a 12 foot side by side or you got a nine foot side by side, you're now having to maneuver around stuff or you might not be able to fit that, what you want. You're minimizing space, you're losing effectiveness. 100%. Bringing it all the way up here or just yep. giving me these options, that is extremely versatile and a tremendous move. Yeah, 100%. Another customer driven feature because they wanted to be able to tie their, their, their toys down wherever right. they wanted, maximizing storage back here. Uh, you got my 12 volt TV up here. I yep. love that. Is that a loft? Bolt? That's a loft. Okay. Yep. So you got entry to the loft, or sometimes I call it the mother in law suite. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's it, it could be because yep. you got washer dryer prep back here. Yep. And look at this gorgeous half bath. Yep. And in that half bath back there, we didn't we didn't skimp. That's a porcelain toilet. It's Corner so mounted sink with press surface countertop, under mounted stainless steel. Love yep. that. Uh, and you got the max vent fan in there too. Max air fan, yep. Okay, that yep. moves about a foot of air per second. Now, once again, we got the air conditioner going in here. Yep. Let me get, and it's on max right now. And you can't, I, I cannot. Can you hear it. that? Can you hear that? But you can still hear us. That's the thing I love about this Coleman mock. I mean, they, they call them the whisper quiets or they yep. used to call them the whisper quiets. Yep. I love that. So uh, now I'm gonna switch places with Ryan so he can kind of see this. I got. My dovetail, or in the South, we call it the beaver tail. Um, <laughs> nice. We got the eight foot ramp door back there, which has 3,000 pound load capacity. Yes. 1,500 pound capacity when it comes to. And here's our buddy Ian. Ian, come here, say hey. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, <laughs> hey buddy. Yeah. We're, dude, we're doing this gorgeous toy hauler. Can you believe this toy hauler has an L lounge in it and it's got a freestanding dinette? That's awesome. And a toy hauler, dude. Dude, I love it. I love it. Valor's a killer line. Valor is a killer line. And you know what? You're a killer handsome dude. Not in here. <laughs> so I love the fact that we have the screen doors here. We got the windows and the happy jack system. But you did something I'm not used to seeing. I, I, I see the mushroom lights. Yep. I'm not used to seeing an LED light. Yeah. So we put LED lights in the back. And that's, mm -hmm. again, another customer driven feature because they would customers would say, hey, we just don't quite have enough lighting back here when we're working in the evening hours. Yeah. So we said, well, we're gonna put an LED strip in the back and we're gonna light up the full unit so you're gonna not have any 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 area without light. Man. You got your three season patio doors. Yep. Yep, you gotta love those. I love that, because yeah, they swing open. Yep. Uh, I see some people that have just one side open and yep. we'll do, uh, you know, the screens, because uh, you got the glass, the screens. It's just, you, you took what the industry standard is for a toy hauler, uh, this multi-versatile area for space office, sleep in spot. Uh, obviously we're 13 feet high, so you're gonna have the room with yep. your beds up to be able to get your stuff in. Happy Jack system when you do need to accommodate additional sleepers. Yep. But this sofa on the bottom is double sofa, so I'll put a table back here, got another entertainment yep. spot. It's a separate apartment to me. Um, that's why I love garages. And people that want toy haulers, they want them for that flexibility or yes. to haul the toys. Yes. But to me, pointing out that system, the light, the doors, how you did the beds, the loft, and the AC back here that's a trip AC, all running on 50 amp. Yep. Man, efficient, beautiful, and feature packed. Well, thank all you. Right. I'm not used to seeing a galley kitchen. It's, it's unseen in a toy hauler. You got the raised bar right here, which not only gives you more, I call it presentation space, because yep. when somebody's sitting down there, you don't have to reach over. You can actually yep. set the drink here and then go about your business cleaning. I'm not yep. gonna spray inside the beverage. Yep. I'm not gonna knock, well, hopefully I won't knock it over. I'm yep. clumsy as a, <laughs> as a greased up Me mousse. Too. But a huge undermounted stainless steel sink right here with the drying rack and the high rise sprayer faucet yep um, something else about this sink though that we took from customers is sometimes you know we have to do dishes during the big game right? yeah yeah, yeah things flowing yeah still can see that TV. i shot the tv love that yeah and i love how you continue the flow of that smoked glass in here yep all the way around uh it's it matches it flows it's clean more importantly, my eye is not detracted by something that stands out. Yeah. And for somebody who is conscious of how the aesthetic is inside their RV, how their home yep. is, this was a tight turn. You got a good designer. You got the, high, the, the gorgeous, just hidden hinges, yep. tons of Residential space. Residential size appliances, 30 inch microwave, oh, wow. four yeah. burner cooktop stove. That oven, 
is turkey tested approved. <laughs> you can fit a full size turkey in there for Thanksgiving. It is turkey tested. That is a oversized residential. I love the four burner. I call it the Viking look because you know the Viking appliances were so big years ago. Um, the fact that that comes out of there. Uh, but uh, what is what, what is this? That is Chris. That is. Is that a, a trash chute? That's the trash chute. One of the things that happens frequently <laughs> is customers don't know where to put their trash when they get in their unit. Yeah. And it's such a, a thing that we heard over and over again. So we gave you this nice little, I call it the hidey hole trash chute. Um, oh my gosh. Put a trash bin in there. Yes. Throw it down in there. That out is of a, sight, out of mind. That is a full size space. Yep. And then what's great about it is when we go outside, we'll show it to you. Yeah. And you, it's just easy accessible from the off campsite. So the kids don't have, they can, while they're going out, before you put your bikes up, get the trash. Yep. Oh man, I love that. I love that. Now, you guys, I see over here for your drawers. Yeah. Um, you guys did something special with yeah. your drawers. Too. So again, I, the theme of this video is gonna be customer driven features. Right. This again came from a customer. And what we did is we actually, there's a piece of wood underneath here and we can support up to 90 pounds in here. I'm wow. putting quite a bit of pressure on that yeah. thing. And that drawer bottom is not falling out. No, that is. It's a, not even bending, right? So that is a, and it's got a. That's a block. Oh yeah, it. it's a block of wood. Yep. Okay. And, it, and, it, and we tested it rigorously and we put 90 pounds in there and we right. drove it down the road. And it just was fine. And it was fine. Bam, no floor vents. I, I noticed that, yeah, your ductwork is in the cabinetry yeah, here. Yeah, so that's another customer driven feature, right? Is yeah. The floor vents are, are what we refer to in the industry as crumb collectors. Yes, 100%. Dirt, crumbs, everything. You have kids, sprinkles are gonna get in there, right? Yeah. So we put all of our vents up off the floor. And I gotta tell you, the Everchill 12 volt fridge freezer combo over here. Yep. I believe this is a 14 footer. And you can let it run down the road while you travel, keep your food cold. And with two 320 watt solar panels? Yeah, two 320 watt solar panels on the roof for 640 watts. Wait a minute, <laughs> hang on. All right, now I've, I've, I'm, I'm used to the two or the 400. Yep. You gave me two 300 and I got 640 watts. Yep, standard from the factory. Standard from the, that will run an air conditioner. Sure, for a limited period of time, but absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for, will. yeah, but like, yep. like, let's say I'm going to Cracker Barrel. Yep. And I want to stop there, but I want to eat in my RV. Yep. Or, I, you know, I got to go to, you know, a big box store and pick up something. Uh, but I got the fam in here. I know I'm going to be shopping for a minute, maybe 30 minutes, 40 yep. minutes. I could run the AC for that. Absolutely, you can. 100%. I can't tell you how huge that is. Or, <laughs> how huge this closet is, but whoa, okay. <laughs> what do you think of that? Automatic a, lights. That's an LED strip. strip. It's an LED light strip on an automatic sensor. With some deep shelf space. Okay, deep yep. pantry. I got deep the adjustable pantry, shelves. Adjustable I love shelves. that. Storage up top. Yep. All right, you guys are thinking everything. Now, you gotta have beverages, right? Yes, 100%. So we give you this nice little bottle. <laughs> I like the here. bottle over by the door. Yep, so yeah. you can enjoy your root beers. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, okay, yep. and I got my, uh, my, my auto gen start down there. Yep. With fuel gauge. With a fuel gauge. Okay. And then and right here is going to be your control panel. Command panel. Okay. Yep. I got my battery. My let me know where the status of my battery is. How much charge you got on it? A dimmer switch yeah. for the lights. Set that is awesome. Yeah. Set the mood. Start playing some Barry White. And there we go. <laughs> and obviously, I get to check all my tanks. Uh, and if I remember right, um, and the slides, the awnings, the whole nine, because uh, we got double awnings, twenty-one feet and twelve feet. Yeah, right around there. Yeah, yeah. twenty-one, twelve. Um, 98, 106, 93. Yep. On the tanks, 98 fresh, 106 on the gray, 93 on the black. That's great tank space. Yep. That's great tank. Barn yep. door. All right, let's head upstairs to check yep. out the master. Yeah, we got a lot going on up here. Look. The tub. Oh, you recessed the tub. Six inches. Joe, that is huge. So now you have head clearance up to six, six in here. <laughs> that is huge because because I'm taking it. You did something special with the with, with the piping, I guess. Because a lot of times the shower's on top of the pipe box. Yeah, I'm not the genius builder behind it. Uh -huh. That's our crew. But I can tell you what, we've showed this off just a little bit right. this year, and it's getting Ray reviews so that far. That is absolutely Ray reviews. I got a max vent fan. I got the high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, the oversized counter, undermounted sink. I got a nice little cubby storage in there. Yep. Wow. Give you additional storage back there. 
The thing that I like about pass-through bathrooms, you don't have to worry about waking somebody up that might be asleep in the cat and vice versa when they're coming up here. Yes. Uh, we got my chest of drawers here, oversized window. Got the beautiful TV at 12. You guys 12 volt everything. 12 volt everything, so you can use it. Now you missed two key things about this dresser. Dressers are usually like, hey, it's not much, it's a dresser, sure. right? Sure, sure, sure. Check this out. Oh, that's right on, man. So keep your, you know, your valuables out of sight, out of mind. Yes, I don't, yeah, yeah. People aren't necessarily going to think to flip up the dresser. Yeah. Also, some place to store your shoes is sometimes challenging in an RV, right? Right. Give your shoe garage under here. I love that. Ray yeah. space for it. Yep. Looks like I got a king size bed. King size bed, bed. A true king size bed. Yep. So you can find your fitted sheets at any of those big box stores. Yep. Make it easy on you. Storage uh, underneath. There's storage underneath, and then all new for 24. These front closets are redesigned. Yes. So not only do you have a lot of space up here, yeah. you have adjustable shelves. Oh, I love that. And washer dryer connects. That's prepped. I got two washer dryer preps in here? So you could run two washers in here. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, so you can do this as a mobile laundry chute. <laughs> well, first off, I don't want that many people in my RV. <laughs> That's the, I mean, I do. My family, I love you. I miss you. I do. But some of you. Um, <laughs> man, I got to tell you, and the third AC right up third here, whis AC. whisper yep. quiet. Yep. Now this one, um, I, I noticed does have the duct into we the bathroom. We do have, but yeah. it's a minimal duct. Minimal duct, yeah. So you're only ducking into the bathroom to keep that bathroom space cool right. if you have the door shut. And we got tons of headroom up here. Tons I, of headroom. I like how you did And the then behind track. these doors here, we do have additional his and her linen closets. Oh, with, with pull-out drawers. Pull-out drawers. Wow, yep. Joe, that is awesome. And they're lockable. I like that. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that is, wow, that is great. And you great. have 110 power on each side, and we give you USB ports, mm -hmm. A and C charge types. Nice. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Got, well, you mean you got to have it. Yep. Wow. So for 2024, you guys absolutely crushed it. Thank this you. is a beautiful, beautiful coach. Uh, but we need to talk a little bit about the outside. Yeah. So what do you say we head out there? Let's go out there. Yeah, let's head there. Joe, I got to tell you, man, putting that fuel gauge and the auto gen start right there by the command panel is such a small thing, but it's things you don't think about because in years past, those fifth wheel toy haulers, the gas gauge has been in the bedroom, you know, it's, but it hasn't been near that command panel. Yeah, you got to put Smart it move. right towards the entry too. Yeah. So that way, if they need something real quick, bam, press it. Speaking of entry, hang on. Let's shut this beautiful door. Yep. Check out that glass door. I love that. Yep. That is a tempered glass tinted door yep and this sticker right here your warranty for full-time rving full-time rving we're one of the only oems manufacturers to warranty for full-time rving wow and, and once again alliance you guys started in 2019 yep. first rv came off the road uh in 2020 yep uh, and we all know what happened then yep i uh, <laughs> love how just the market that you've taken over in that short amount of time really proves and speaks to the quality that you've put in it and the fact that you listen to what people want inside 100%. their RVs. So that's one of the core values of Alliance RV. The Brady Brothers started this company mm -hmm. and there's the first, one of our first mission statements, core values is customer obsessed. Right. And that led to just customer driven features, listening to the customer. And there are hundreds of things right. in there from real full-time RVers. Yeah. I love that. And speaking of, if you got some comments, you got some things that you like about this or some things, hey, would you mind doing this? Yeah. The folks at Alliance are going to listen to you. Please yeah. leave us some comments down below. And while Please. you're at it, like, subscribe, and notify. Let me tell you what I'm going to like and get notified about. Tell me about this front cap, man. Molded, yes. automotive coated, aggressive profile, and these lights. Yeah, so it's a single piece fiberglass molded front cap. We elevated the Delta, the logo, so it's like a little that. bit popped out. Yeah. And then we gave you these awesome LED lights over here. And what's special about these lights is there's enough power in them that in the evening, if you need to hook up, you're gonna be able to see the bed of your truck. But also if you have a neighbor across the road that has front window, you're not going to blow them out all night long and you're going to be able to keep these lights on if you accidentally forget to turn them off. Dude, that is not only is it beautiful, that is extremely effective. Yep. Kind of like how you got the space saver upper deck. I like this is yep. flush. I really yep. like how that is flush. It helps with the head height inside that we saw in the bedroom. Yep. But it also allows you to get this Kurt Rotoflex pin box here. Yes, 100%. So you got that nice space saver upper deck with the Kurt Rotoflex to make a just smoother ride when you're towing. This will help not only when you're setting up, but yeah, the smoother ride. And this hitch does such a good job of absorbing that chucking and bucking because yes. of that rubberized pin. And I, yes, I, I love it. Love I've it. heard good things about it from our, from our customers. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good one. All right. Now, this is something I'm used to seeing 
uh, the standard open frame generators inside of toy haulers, which yep. I got to tell you, you guys move into the MPS 5500, not only is it 5500 watts, yep. it's pure sine wave energy. Correct. What that means is it's an inverter generator that gives you clean energy. It's not going to cook your cell phones. It's not going to cook your laptops. Uh, it's got the remote start and it's got the pull start on it. Yes. Crushed yep. it, man. Absolutely crushed it. All right, now, how many batteries can I get in here, Joe? What I mean, heck? you can probably fit six to nine batteries in there. <laughs> um, right now, we it comes standard with one lithium phosphate iron battery. Oh, um, okay. So that's going to be a battery that's going to be a little bit more tolerant to the cold weather. Yeah. So it comes standard with it. And then, you know, on top of that, we give you a pretty powerful solar package. You got two 320-watt solar panels on the roof. And speaking of, when, when you speak to your technicians or your reps about batteries, it, Joe made a great point about this lithium phosphate ion. That's an upgrade from a standard lithium battery. Yep. That's a very nice feature to have. So I would highly recommend getting more phosphate ions. Lithium's great, it's gonna do you well, but the phosphate, ask for that uh, specifically and you'll be extremely happy. Storage box up here, I got my power cable. And all right, now what'd you do right here? What is this? So that's an easy access panel to your hydraulic system. So making sure that you can easily remove that. It also can be kind of an eyesore sometimes in there. So yeah. we kind of tucked it away. Uh, making sure that you have an easy access panel to access the hydraulic pumps when right. you need to. I like that, and you're right, because a lot of people do complain about, well, I paid, you know, for a luxury fifth wheel, that's yep. not a luxury look, Correct. even if it's storage or not. Okay, that's a great move. Yep. Okay, I love that. Got my battery disconnect, I got my uh, charge, control charge controller there. Yep. Okay, awesome. Yep. Man, I gotta tell you, for just, and, and I know that you brought in some really great people that have yeah. years of industry experience. Yes. So don't let the three years of making RVs fool you. Yeah. Alliance is doing it right. I like the uh, level up yep. system. Got the ground control. I got my 30 pound LPs here. Yep. Got a nice uh, pass through storage. Pass through storage. I like the, the, the reinforced side opening clips, the yep. side opening door. Yep. Slam okay. latch baggage doors. Wow. Uh, we give you your, your spray ports. We have multiple spray ports throughout the unit. Mm -hmm. So that way, if you have dogs, dirty kids, whatever, easily hook up, wash yeah. them off outside. And Ryan, there's a really good shot. We had mentioned that aluminum superstructure that this thing is made on. Yep. Uh, I mean, it's a hundred, one inch wide body. Yep. Uh, rated for four season camping, which is huge. Yep. Absolutely, with all these features and benefits. Solid step over steps, extra yep. large top step, which I'm a huge fan of because yep. that's a little bit safety feature, but 100%. it's also pet friendly. Absolutely. Uh, with the grip tape. Tell me about the slide construction. Yeah, so the slide box. Um, so this piece right here mm -hmm. is actually a part of the original wall that when it was constructed. Okay. So, and as, as, as you will learn when you learn more about RVing, is fiberglass sometimes can have slightly different de yes. decoloring per roll. Yeah. You might buy it from the same person, but it could be just a slightly less white, right? Yep. So we guarantee that this piece of is going to match the whole, whole unit. Thing. Yeah. And so we have a system in the plants that actually make sure that it's marked by a VIN. Right. And then we construct these slide outs um, and then we put them in, in the plant. And not only that, having it be the one piece of the wall means you also aren't trying to fit a piece for the slide. Correct. It comes from the wall. I it love also that. reduces waste. Yes, it, yes, it does. Yeah. Which reduces cost. Yep. Which allows you to pass it on to us. Yep. Okay. All right. JBL. I love that. And it's 12 volt. 12 volt JBL sound system. So yeah, you could run this off your solar, and you could bump your tunes. And entertaining. Put the TV out there. Get the game blaring. Yeah. Do you even have to go take the seats? You don't. You, you don't. Just, you just really put don't. the TVs out. And I call toy haulers versatility machines. They are. They want to Because you don't yeah. have to have toys. No. Turn that into the ultimate tear game garage. Yeah. Turn it into a bedroom. Turn it into a movie theater, a gym. They're the most, ver office, they're the most Anything. versatile machines on the market. 100%. Yeah. I love the blackout aluminums that you got on this triple axle right here. Yep, yep. So our running gear is actually a huge selling feature uh, that we that we took a lot of time listening to customers on. Mm -hmm. You got 7,000 pound axles, super G-rated tires, wow. the Kurt CRE 3000 suspension. Also something that's un that it usually goes unnoticed mm -hmm. is we put V-brackets in under to support okay to just give you more frame to give you more support on your chassis what he suspension. means by that is a lot of manufacturers will use a u bracket on your leaf springs under there what that does if there's too much weight because a lot of times with rvs we overload the cargo that u bracket's the first thing to break mm -hmm. the v gives you true two points of strength carrying that leaf uh that's that, that's a huge move 100%. that's a very percent huge move um yep. love the cre 3000 suspension uh, the Gladiator, those those 7,000s are great. Yep. Having these super rated tires means uh, less heat, which heat causes blowout, yep. as does a lot of pressure. Yep. Um, you can run them at a little bit higher speed, obviously be safe. Be safe. Uh, but get tire pressure monitoring. 
Yep. Talk to your tech, talk to your rep about how can I get that put on. It's extremely important. You can actually add the Moride independent suspension from the factory by talking to your dealer if that's an option you want to add. Oh, heck yeah. Ready to add it. Nice. So it doesn't come standard. Right. It's an additional cost. Yeah. But, you know, they could find their local camping world that sells this product. Yep. And yep. they'd be able to option in that independent suspension if they want to. That's really going to help, especially if you're going to, like, I want to take this thing off road. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely for the people that are going to go longer, go yep. up down mountains and yep. hills and things like that. If you got sure. big grades, get that. Okay, now, but Joe, I got to ask. Is this like a like like my my toolbox? Nope. There's something else back there. We give you a air compressor. So basically, you flip this bad boy. You got tons of pressure in there to fill, keep your toys going, right? You can also you can fill if you are in an emergency. You can fill yeah. your RV tires. I was going to say that's that is a high pressure mm -hmm. uh, air compressor. Yep. It's built in. Wow, that's, I was not expecting that. I don't really know what to say about it, but that is awesome. This is another customer driven feature, okay. especially for the toy hauler class, mm -hmm. is they, the garage gets so full when yeah. they're bringing all their equipment with their ATVs and dirt bikes and right. whatnot, right. and they sometimes would forget their air compressors. Right. So we said, we're just gonna add it in for you, mm -hmm. so that way that you're never gonna forget it again. This is one of those things, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you will forget it sometimes. Yep. If you got the bikes, the motorbikes, uh, I used to have a Harley. Yep. Uh, that's one of those things that you need. You don't think about it until you get to the campsite. Yep. Then you're either going to a gas station, loading it up in the back of the truck, trying to pull it to a gas station to fill it up. Yep. That is an extremely great feature. Yep. Now, we, we talked about the deck in the garage. I love the Thule Crown scissor arm awning that comes off of there. Yep. Come around to the off-camp site. Now we got my power station. Tell me a little bit about this. Yep, so the power station's a 50 amp power station. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to run all three ACs off that nice. uh, and a bunch of other things. Yeah. And, and then, you heard how quiet they were inside. Yes, they're they were super, super quiet, quiet inside. Yeah. So then right here, what we're gonna have is your fuel station. Mm -hmm. So this is your fuel and your generator. There's 30 gallon tanks mm -hmm. per pump. Right. And then you'll be able to refuel your toys right here mm -hmm. um, and then have 30 gallons up to the generator. And there is a way okay. that you can actually make it, um, you can pull some of the, the to toy fuel yeah. into the generator. Into the generator. Expanded. Okay. Yep. That's, oh yeah, yeah, bypass. Yep. Yeah, to get bypass. You, yeah, the emergency bypass. Yep. I love that. All right, so I'm set up for the ladder Lippert's. prep. Yep. I love that extendable ladder. The extendable ladder. I yep. bought it for my house too, because you know, you get up on there to get the gutters and whatnot. I'm yep. not lugging around that 16 foot. Yeah, <laughs> you and know, it's pretty lightweight. It is lightweight, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. Man, yeah. I just love the trip axe. This is what I thought was just such a great feature. That yeah. trash chute on the inside. This is the off door side, so easy yeah. access to throw it away. This could be a standard big trash can 100%. that you have in your kitchen. Absolutely. I love that. And I mean, obviously, I love the frame construction on this one. The 44 V14 is just such a gorgeous fit. And brand spanking new, too. Brand spanking new. Uh, and the heated enclosed underbelly. Love the frame. Uh, but we're looking at 98, 106, 93 on the tanks. Is yep. that right? Yep. 98 gallon fresh, 106 gray, 93 black. When you're yep. talking about going off the grid, you need you need space. Do you need in space? Your tanks. And and you gave me two 320 watt solar panels. Yep. I guess my only question is, if I want to do something, the shower, or I, you know, oh, you know what? We don't need to run all the water one way or another. How hard is it to kind of manage my water flow inside this 44 V14? Chris, we got something special for you. We have an industry first here. Okay. Behind that door, that baggage door, right? My pass through there. storage. Your pass through storage uh -huh. on the off camp side here there is a brand new water manifold system where you can control every plumbing location from one spot. Open that up. I don't know what you're talking about behind this. Brand new. You got to be kidding me right now. Absolutely not. We got this brand new system. It was actually thought of by a customer and then they actually worked with some of our plumbing team <laughs> here in the plant and we came up with this all new water manifold system. Okay, so as a as a RVer, as somebody that sees this right away, not only is it easy, and, and you even color coded it and labeled it, I'm assuming that this is my only elbow point. Correct. This is my only connection point, AKA my possible leak point, because yep. inside with this PEX piping, let me tell you how huge this is for a minute. I'm gonna wax poetic for a second, Joe, hang on. <laughs> Love it. 
The piping inside of RVs is made specifically for weight. You want something lighter, so you're not gonna have like the big heavy PVC like you have in your house. You're gonna have this nice flexible PEX piping, but it is, it is reinforced, it is sturdy, but a lot of times there's multi-connection points to get around and under the cabinetry inside your RV. Having this only be the bend point here I think you're picking up what I'm laying down. Yep. If you smell what the Joe is cooking, <laughs> this is a fantastic addition yeah. to ease of use. It's going to change the toy hauler game. I think it's going to change, change the, the RV change game. Change the RV game. Yeah. Um, so say you don't want a washer dryer in here. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it Done. off. Done. Yeah. Now you're not going to have any issues with that line. And when I go to winterize it, I'm not going to have to worry about that port. Not I'm not going. Oh man. Yep. No, we're not have to worry about that here, pipe. The connection at the connection point. In the Got my water pump, my city, my tank, my winterization already yeah. set up. And I take it, uh, since you had this in the front, you probably have a little pump access. Yep. Oh, get out of town. Yep. Ryan, get in there, check that out. Let Easy me tell you, that point. is one of those things when you're talking about winterizing your RV, if you do it, uh, and dewinterizing it, getting to the pump, you got a bypass already built in. Yep. They have the pump bypass already built in. Yep. We're trying to make it easy for the RVer, right? That's that's what Alliance was built on. Alliance was okay. built on customer-driven features, listening to the customer, and and making sure that you have the best RV experience possible. Okay, that is that is nice. <laughs> Wasn't my I idea, have, but I love that. It's I don't there. <laughs> have any other. I don't even know what to say other than that is nice. Uh, yep. Right here is obviously our electronic one-touch control for our auto leveling. Yep. Uh, you know, you know what you see a lot of times on fifth yep. wheels. Wow. Uh, and our info panel right up here, which I always like to point out because this is where you come to see, okay, how much does this bad boy weigh? So, for yep. example, the dry weight on this one, 16.5. Yep. You're 45 feet, a little shade over 45 yep. feet. Yep. Uh, 16,500 pounds, 20,000 pound gross, but you got those three 7,000 pound axles. Yep. That gorgeous garage with, I got to tell you, the track system in it. That's what shocked me about the garage. Yeah. Uh, I tell people if you're gonna upgrade, get one that has at least 36 points. You got hundreds yeah. of points. Hundreds. Because what you don't realize, like we mentioned inside, is the space that you need around the toys. Yes. And being able to move it even six inches. Yep. Is six inches of space, 10, yep. 12 inches, that's a bag. I mean, it's it's huge. That's another customer driven feature. Is, right. is those our customers that have toy haulers complained about having, you know, 10 to 30 tie down points. Yeah. So we gave them hundreds. Joe, I got to tell you, this is for being a brand new floor plan. You're doing something completely different with that L sofa we talked about at the beginning. <laughs> I love that. I thing. love that thing. Yeah, me too. The kitchen with all that space. You're not get, and, and the dinette. You do not get a dinette in toy nope. haulers, nope. especially a non knee knocking dinette. dinette. Yep. Wow, the 44 V14. If this is what you've been looking for, you want the most versatile style of RV on the market with luxury appointments that have been set by you. Guess what? Alliance has stepped up to the plate, and they pretty much hit a grand slam with this thank one. Thank you, Chris. Joe, thank you so much, thank man. You. This has been fantastic. Thanks for coming. Thank you for letting us come down here. I know this just came off the line, yep. so thank you for letting us get to it first. I appreciate you're it. You're welcome. And if you're interested, leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like, what you not like. You can pick this up today at your local Camping World, so just swing on by and check it out, or as always, check out CampingWorld.com. For Joe Mel, Chris Young, the Alliance Valor 44 V14. 45 foot of just get ready to give Chris the keys. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs>